in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to find a profitable product to sell on Amazon FBA. This is a complete step-by-step -step guide to product research. I'm going to show you every single method that I know, every single tool that I know in order to help you guys start and find an incredible product to sell on Amazon. This is how you achieve freedom and take back control in your life. It doesn't matter right now if you're working a nine to five job and you hate it. With this method, with starting an online business, literally your potential is limitless. There's no limit to how many products you can sell, how much profit you can make, and how far you can grow and scale your business. So this is a guide to starting a long lasting Amazon brand. This is not a get rich quick scheme. This is not a method to find a one off product and just hope it sells. This is a extremely detailed guide on how to find the best possible products. Look through everything, check off all the boxes and make sure you are set up to succeed. There are two keys to success, especially with starting an Amazon business. Number one, focus and two, persistence. You need to be hyper focused, paying attention to every single detail in this video and every single detail when you're doing product research and you need to be persistent. This will not happen overnight. This will take a little bit of time, but I promise you if you put in the effort, if you follow through on these steps and you take action, you will be set up for incredible success on Amazon. Right now, you need to make a commitment to succeed. You need to make a commitment to yourself to watch this video entirely to make sure you don't miss out on any of the crucial details, not for me, but for your own sake, because you can cut corners, you can skip around, you can try and do research on your own, trial by error. I'm telling you, I've done that and it does not work. It is so much easier to follow step by step a guide and model after someone else and someone who is teaching you exactly the perfect best methods to find products to sell on Amazon. Without that, you're gonna be lost. It is going to be very difficult. So you need to commit to making sure that you're giving yourself every single possible chance to succeed and every detail, every tool that you possibly can. You need to realize you have unlimited potential, especially when starting an Amazon FBA business because Amazon is over a trillion dollar company now, billions and billions of dollars in profit and sellers like you and me finding products, launching them, and doing very well every single day. There's more potential, there's more profit, there's more ability for you guys to find products. Tools are getting easier to use. When I first started, it was incredibly difficult. Now, literally everything is handed to you. All the best tools, research methods, knowledge, videos. So you need to realize you have literally no limit especially when it comes to starting an Amazon business because there's no limit to how much you can sell unlike a nine to five job where you trade your time for money. So you need to understand this is an incredible opportunity that you're sitting on right now to start an Amazon business. So why should you listen to me? Well, I've done these exact things I'm about to teach you for over two years. I've launched 18 products on Amazon, done over half a million dollars in sales from these methods, and every single product I found has been a success. This is a screenshot of the last two years of me selling on Amazon. You can see at the bottom there that over $600,000 in sales in the last two years using these exact methods I'm about to teach. So what will you get from this training? I am gonna show you the top five product research methods that I have found to be the best methods to find products on Amazon. There are hundreds of ways, thousands of methods, but these five methods I'm going to be focusing on are the highest percentage of success and the most efficient ways to find amazing products to sell on Amazon. Now, before we dive into the actual methods, you need to understand something. You need to understand these three golden principles for starting an e-commerce business. Number one, you need to offer extremely high quality, valuable products. And the way we do this is we find the absolute best suppliers by using Alibaba.com, which is basically the Chinese Amazon, the world's biggest wholesale manufacturing website to find amazing suppliers. And once you do that, you need to test the samples thoroughly. You need to use the product as if you're a customer, put it through everything you possibly can think of, take notes in extreme detail, and make sure you are getting the best possible samples, the best quality from the best suppliers. And you also need to listen to your market. You need to listen to what customers are saying, whether that's on Amazon, in the reviews, if they're giving negative reviews and feedback, you need to know why and how to fix that. All right. So number one, offer extremely high quality, 
valuable products. This will go so far. If you do nothing else but this, this will help you succeed on Amazon. Number two, you need to set yourself apart by going above and beyond to build a trustworthy brand. And the keyword here is brand. You need to offer the most premium photos, get a photographer, pay them well, make sure you're getting the best pictures because images are everything on Amazon. People look at the images, the title, and the reviews. And with good images, this will boost your conversion rates, increase your sales, and help you make more profit. You will also need to focus on better bullet points than your competition and make sure you don't leave out any details. Look at what the customers are asking and answer those questions directly in the bullet points. As well as the description, you need to write incredible descriptions, giving extreme detail on everything your customers need to know about your product and use up every single character limit that you possibly can in order to communicate everything with your customers and also to help you gain search term ranking with all of the keywords in your description and bullet points and title. You also need an extremely high quality professional logo and packaging. This step is a must. With this one thing alone, it has set me apart from my competition and has made me tens of thousands of dollars. Without this, you're going to look like everyone else. So that's why you need to make sure that you spend a lot of time on your packaging and your logo. Make sure you hire that out, get the best possible packaging and logo. And that way you're able to charge a premium. People trust your brand. And it looks authentic, real, and trustworthy. Number three, pay attention to detail and make sure you're serving your customer first. So you need to check every single detail on your product and listing multiple times. You need to communicate extremely well with your suppliers. Go above and beyond with your communications with your supplier to make sure nothing is left out, that they've talked about everything you possibly can and that both of you understand exactly what the other end is talking about. Another thing, you need to answer customer questions and reviews instantly. Customer service is something that is so overlooked, and think about it like this. Every single time you interact with a customer, you're building a relationship, that customer is probably going to keep on ordering from you, especially if you answer all of their questions thoroughly and instantly. People really appreciate that. That, that is a lost art with online business and people just don't take that seriously. If you're able to take that seriously, pay attention to all the details and serve your customer first. Now these are the tools you're going to need. Number one, Helium 10 and number two, Jungle Scout. These are software tools, software companies that give you all this incredible data and information. You need to be using these and you need to use this on Google Chrome. So if you have another browser, you need to download Google Chrome and make sure you're using those. Download these tools, buy them, and I'll show you exactly how to do that and get in depth on each of these tools in this training. Without these tools, you won't be able to do any product research. You won't be able to see any data and that could cost you thousands of dollars. So you absolutely need these tools. If you don't use them, you are going to be flying blind. You won't be able to see how much a product is making in sales, how the competition is. You won't be able to see any of this data. It will take you so much time. And there are free trials available. So without tools, you are going to have a very difficult time. That is why I highly recommend that you buy these and you use them. And these will be your best friends when you're doing product research. So these are the top five product research methods. Number one, we're gonna look at Amazon new releases. This is one of my favorite product research methods. This is going to show you new products that are selling on Amazon and the ones that are doing the best. This is exactly what we're looking for. These kind of products that are new to Amazon and selling very well are the products you want to look at because that is exactly what you can do and model after these people. We can see all of the data and we'll go over this in extreme detail. Number two, something I like to call the alphabet soup method. Basically, this is using the Amazon search bar and typing in a seed keyword plus a random letter in the alphabet. I will show you exactly how to do this, but this is a very under underutilized method. People are not looking at this and there's so much potential to find amazing products using this method. Number three, we're gonna look at spying on competitors. In this method, we're going to look at other competitors storefronts other people who are selling on amazon go in there check out all of their products see how much they're doing see how well they're selling and seeing exactly what products they're selling so that you're able to model 
almost entirely after them and you take out so much of the guesswork. Number four, we're gonna use Helium 10 Black Box and the Jungle Scout web app. Either or works, they're both pretty much the same thing, but I'm gonna show you how I use Helium 10 Black Box and it's the same principle applied for finding products to sell on Amazon. Number five, we're gonna look at Amazon bestsellers, all of the bestsellers under each specific category, getting in granular detail, making sure we check off all the boxes, see everything that is working best. And so we're able to find products this way that will help us get started on Amazon. All right, so I'm super excited to show you guys all these amazing methods. Now it's time to get started. If you click on the link in the description below, you'll have access to this page, which will give you a discount of up to 50% off your first month when you use code MICHAELSOLTIS50 or 10% off your entire first year with code MICHAELSOLTIS10. So this is one of my favorite research tools, favorite all-in-one tool for selling on Amazon. It's not just for product research. Uh, it'll help you with keyword research, listing optimization, and maintenance. With these tools, you will be able to have a very good chance of succeeding on Amazon. These are tools that I use every single day. All right, so I would recommend going with your first month of the platinum option. That will be 50% off and will help you get started because I want you guys to have the absolute best possible chance to find products to sell on Amazon. And this is one of the best tools to do that. All right, if you click in the link in the description below, you also be able to see um, and have access to this page where Jungle Scout is giving up to a 30% off discount when you use this software. I use Jungle Scout and Helium 10 every single day. If you come down here to the pricing, I would recommend going with this one. It will give you three months and it will save you 30% off of the extension, the Chrome extension, which is how we see products on Amazon, which is a must have. If nothing else, you need this one. And it will also give you the Jungle Scout web app, which is now just called Jungle Scout, which will show you exactly um, all these amazing details on how to find products, how to list them, how to optimize them and mate maintain your Amazon business. So these two tools are what I recommend. They're all in one selling suites for Amazon. You can either pick one or the other. It's up to you, but um, I will be showing you both. And these are what I use every single day in my Amazon business. So now we're on amazon.com and we are going to go over method number one, which is the new releases. So you can either Google new releases or come to Amazon and click new releases here. A couple of things to note. Number one, you should be signed out, okay? That way, Amazon won't have any preloaded data on you. They won't have your address. They won't be giving you any skewed data. And also, you wanna be under all departments all the time because if you go into a specific category and you're searching for these products, then it's maybe not gonna show up um, all the other products that you're looking for um, under different categories, even though they're the same thing. So you wanna make sure those two things, you're signed out and you're under all categories, all right? So under the hot new releases, tab in this method, we are going to look by department, okay? Because you're not able to obviously private label um, products like these. And private labeling just means um, starting a brand of your own product, of your own uh, logo um, for video games, right? Unless you're a video game designer. So what we want to actually do is go down to certain categories. So these are some of the top categories that I'll be telling you right now to sell on. All right, so going from the top, I would recommend arts, crafts, and sewing. That's an amazing category. Automotive has a lot of good opportunity. Baby is an amazing category. Beauty and personal care. Electronics has some good potential. Home and kitchen is another good one. Kitchen and dining. Musical instruments is something people overlook, but there's actually very good potential here in this category of little uh, items that you can sell in musical instruments, okay? Office products is an amazing category. I sell under office products and arts and crafts as well. All right, patio, lawn, and garden is a great category. Pet supplies, also very good. Sports and outdoors, and occasionally tools and home improvement you could find good products to sell. So those are the categories that you might want to consider. Uh, and for this, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into a specific category. So let's say, for example, we go into office products. What you want to do is you want to niche down. So these are all of the best-selling products that are newly listed on Amazon. 
All right, so what I would highly recommend is that you come into a category and then you also niche down. So you see over here in Office products how they have presentation boards, education and crafts, all of these different categories. I would recommend going even further down because the further you can go down the rabbit hole, the further away from everyone else's methods you can take yourself to do product research and go one step further, the better you're going to have a chance of succeeding. So if you have Jungle Scout or Helium 10, what you're going to do is you're going to be in Chrome number one, be in Google Chrome, and click on the extension. All right, so this is the Jungle Scout extension. I'm gonna now give you a tutorial on how to use this. So as this loads, we are going to talk about exactly what all of this means. So you see here on this page, new releases, every single item on this page is being picked up by Jungle Scout. So what it does is it will show you up top the average monthly sales, the average sales rank, so bestseller rank. Closer to one is obviously better the average price, and average reviews, okay? And it will give you an opportunity score if you have Jungle Scout Pro extension. That's not necessary. Um, you can just use your own intuition, but sometimes this is helpful. All right, over here from left to right, we have what rank these products are in. You're actually able to exit out some of these. If you say, for example, um, let's come down and look at this product. Okay, we don't want to sell pens. That's not going to be helpful. It's going to be very difficult to sell. So you can X out that, okay? And then it will refresh and show you all this additional data. All right, um, under action tab, I've never done this, but you can usually, uh, you can find suppliers. Uh, for this product, I have not had good success for this. I like to look on Alibaba and do my own research. Oh, and you can add it to your web app and track it. All right, this here is the product name, uh, the product brand, and the price. So these things are important. Uh, monthly sales. Look, you can actually see a very accurate estimation on how many monthly sales this exact product is getting. That is insane. This product is doing $35,000 a month. Uh, it does have a lot of reviews, though. All right, and this here, net, means your net profit. So after fees, that is what you will, um, that is what Jungle Scout is saying this seller is making. Okay, reviews, we already talked about that. The number of reviews, the rating, so it has a four and a half star average. And then the rank, the best seller rank, very close to number one, very good. Usually we want to sell products between the ranking of 5,000 and 15,000. It's dependent every, on every single different category. It's different, but that is basically an overview of how this Jungle Scout Chrome extension works. All right, so what we want to do is we want to sift through all of these products and we want to find products that have a low number of reviews, typically 200 or less. And we want to see something that has a high monthly sales volume. Okay, so we want to see products that have at least 300 sales. That's 10 sales per month. And we also want to see products that are priced at at least $15. That is my criteria. Again, products that have less than 200 reviews. So for this example, only 15 reviews has 750 sales. That's great for our criteria criteria, but um, we're not able to see the price on this. So we want it to be at least $15 sale price for the maximum profit. All right. So what you'll do is you'll scroll through all of these. And if anything catches your eye, usually I'll look at something with very few reviews and very high sales to see what's going on. So for example, this product right here, two reviews, 545 sales per month. So this person potentially just launched and you can actually click in here and see, yep, they launched um, just over a month ago. This is their sales rank when they launched. You're able to see that. So this product right here is very interesting to me. Uh, I will click on that and save it and we can do more research on that later. But this is basically what you'll be doing with the Chrome extension method. All right, so you'll come down, find products that have low amount of reviews, less than 200 reviews, the fewer the better, and good amount of sales volume, at least 300, and a good price. All right, so this one right here, 46 reviews, $20 sales price. This is an Amazon Basics product though. All right. So with certain brands, if you see very big brands, for example, Sharpie, you do not want to be selling uh, Sharpie competitive products because this brand is massive. So you need to use a little bit of your own intuition and critical thinking and um, just common sense goes so far in product research. So you need to be wary of that. But as we come down this one, 14 reviews, $10 sale price, that's too cheap. Okay. How about this one? 25 reviews, $20 sale price, blue sky. This is a weekly planner. Okay, you could also click in and look at this and save these for later. What I would highly recommend doing is having a list, okay, whether that's on a notepad, on your phone, of all these products that you find um, and storing them on a list, the keywords that you're using.
uh, the products that the title, okay, uh, or just copying and pasting this uh, URL into a note in your computer so you're able to come back here and look at these products later and decide if you want to sell them. So these are some of the criteria I look for in the new release category. Okay, so what we can also do, we can, we can go back just using this example one more time and we can go to into a different category. Maybe instead of uh, office products, what we can do is go to arts, crafts, and sewing. All right, and then we can look through all these new releases. New releases meaning they've just launched in the past couple of weeks or past couple of months. So we could come down here. I would recommend niching down. So maybe um, scrapbooking, that sounds interesting. All right, and then you can go into all these different products. So from scrapbooking, let's just see what we get, what Jungle Scout picks up and we are going to be able to see now all of these products that are selling all of this detailed data and it's going to load for us and now we're going to see all of these products and find the best the best opportunity so this one right here that's very interesting to me um, because it has so few reviews and this will get easier with time by the way it only has 21 reviews hundred sales per month a little bit low but their sales price is pretty good the only thing is I don't like that that sale price that uh, total monthly sales is kind of low here um, so what you'll do is you'll keep on scrolling down and you'll look for low product reviews high amount of sales and a good sale price those are the three main criteria you can also alternatively used use helium 10 x-ray for product research it is very similar almost the exact same thing um, just with a slightly different sales volume um, slightly way of them calculating everything this way you'll be able to see pretty much all the same data all right the ASIN ACE Amazon standard identification number the brand the title category all of these different things even the sales rank so that's pretty good and it will give you a success score so 100 being the best one being the worst and all of these average um, numbers up here so you're able to come through um, looking for the same data that you would on helium 10 and they give you all these different um, all these different tools and ways of seeing all this different data so we're going to come down if we're using helium 10 um, or jungle scout it really depends on what you want and what we're going to look at is sales price and reviews okay and you're actually able to um, remove some of these tiles okay so maybe we don't care about uh, review velocity we don't care about weight images title buy box delivery some of these things you just don't need okay so you're able to filter this data use it to your advantage okay I know this seems overwhelming but I promise you with time this will get easier all right so this one right here 31 reviews 785 sales the only problem is its sale price is very low okay so this is basically how you use the new releases category with the product research tools Helium 10 and Jungle Scout in order to find amazing products to sell on Amazon. Now I'm gonna be talking about the Alphabet Soup product research method. For this method, you'll be in the Amazon search bar and you will also need either Helium 10 or Jungle Scout in order to look at all of this data. So what I like to do is look at a seed keyword. A seed keyword basically meaning something like plastic, rubber, flexible, fabric, or anything like that that could be used for a lot of products. So for this example, let's look at plastic, okay? That is the seed keyword. Now you wanna go one step further. Now Amazon will automatically populate all the best-selling products for this keyword. So plastic gloves being very hot right now because of coronavirus, okay? And what you'll do actually is you'll do alphabet soup, which basically means a seed keyword plus a number. So plastic A, look through all of these. Okay, you wanna look for, in this method, you wanna look for very strange products, something you've never heard of, and typically lower down here um, because this has less competition, this has more competition. Obviously, Amazon ranking this dependent on uh, how much people are searching for these terms. So highest amount of search volume up here, lowest down here. All right, and then if you don't see anything that works, anything that catches your eye, anything odd or unique, go down to the next one, plastic plus B. Okay, seed keyword plus the next letter in the alphabet. Look through all of these um, and see if you can find anything interesting. All right, I kind of know what all of these are, so that might not be a good one. Let's go to the next, the next letter in the alphabet. I hope you can understand basically this flow, very easy. This is one of my favorite methods because no one else is looking at these products like this, okay? This is a unique method that I have discovered uh, in this exact way, using a seed keyword plus a letter in the alphabet. And 
this is a very good way to find products that no one else are looking at. All right, so plastic plus C, looking at all these, this could be a good option. Let's let's look at that. Plastic plus C, container, containers with lids, storage, organizer, okay? So we found this product. We're going to now look at it. Once you do this, once you type in those seed keywords for method number two, alphabet soup, what you'll do is you'll click on Jungle Scout, the Chrome extension, or Helium 10 X-ray, depending on which one you want to use. And now Amazon is going to take all the data for this particular keyword and show us what's happening. Right off the bat, I can see way too many reviews, way too competitive, but it has good um, demand as well. So the opportunity score is a four out of 10, high demand, high competition, not something I'd recommend for your first product. That's okay. Let's keep on going to the next letter, plastic plus D. Look for any of these that seem odd, plastic deli containers with lids, all right? So we could take a look at this and open up Jungle Scout and see what's happening with this keyword all the data that Jungle Scout will gather from this particular keyword. Again, the reviews are very high and the sales are pretty good. All right, so if we scroll through here, seeing anything that has less than 200 reviews, this one right here, 83 reviews, 600 sales, and an 1899 sale price. This could be a potential product winner, okay? So you wanna save that, click in on that, look at that, and um, take a note to see if that is a potential good product to sell, all right? And the, so this is just a product research video, so I'm not going to get into all the details of all of the other criteria, but uh, except for if this product is a viable product to sell with competition and demand. All right, so let's go down to the next letter, seed keyword plus E. Uh, all of these are saying plastic eggs because right now this is just after Easter. So you have to, again, think critically, um, use common sense. And if you want to sell plastic Easter eggs and think, all right, let's look at this product right now. It's probably doing very, very well and it has medium competition, but you have to keep in mind this is a very seasonal product. You want to sell products that are able to sell year round, not just at one um, season or one holiday. So look, hardly any reviews. This isn't amazing. So this would be amazing if it wasn't seasonal, meaning only selling during Easter, only selling during a certain time of the year. So this is an example of an amazing product. The only problem is they're only selling right now. So look, some of these four reviews, 10,000 a month. The only thing is the price is a little bit low. So let's look at here, six reviews, 2,000 sales a month, 23, $23 sale price. This is amazing. So say for example, this was a random product that was not seasonal. Um, and by the way, a cool way to check seasonality is check the sales ranking here. Okay, um, you're, the lower the sales ranking, the better it sells. And if it sells best all year round, then um, then you're you know you have a winner. Okay, so another way to check seasonality for the product research here is you come down, you look at helium ten, and this is too new of a chart for it to actually show anything. See if I can refresh and see if it'll pick anything up. Um, but it will show you the sales rank down here, okay? So look, what we do to check seasonality, we look at the best sellers rank, which is shown here if you download the free Helium 10 Chrome extension, and uh, this is a free method, and you're able to see the lower the sales rank, the better, right? So it's selling very well just during, oh, it's actually selling very well right now be because this is not a seasonal product. Think just outside the box, thinking when would people use this product? and obviously it's selling year round. So that is a little bit about how to check seasonality of products. Definitely want to keep that in mind. Um, but that is the method for the uh, alphabet soup method. So you can type in anything, uh, paper plus um, any letter in the alphabet. Paper E, those are all eggs, paper F. Uh, paper food trays, okay? Paper flowers, paper for painting, very specific, okay? Paper fastener, I have no idea what that is. That's intriguing. Okay, these are just um, nail type things for paper clips. Okay, so going down the list, sometimes typing strange letters in the alphabet like X or Z could pick up very interesting products. Paper joint tape, okay? So this is how you do product research using the alphabet soup method. Product research method number three is spying on the competition. In order to do this, it's very simple. All you need to do is find literally any product on Amazon. Say for example, we look under new releases and we find this strange product. I, what is this? 
bread yeast active dry yeast okay and we see this product uh, the only thing is it's selling very low in price but we see it's a bestseller so they n must know something must understand something you can see it looks uh, Chinese what you do for spying on competition is you go into the product listing okay the product detail page that just means the actual um, product that you want to sell on Amazon right here how people buy it this is the listing or the detail page alright what you would do is you would come over here and you're able to see okay it ships from it sold by this seller so they're not Amazon Prime but you're able to come into their storefront you don't click here all right you click on products and this method we're able to see all of the brands all of the products and everything they're selling this is extremely useful for finding um, product niches seeing what other people are selling and once we come here we click on our Chrome extension, whether you're using Jungle Scout or Helium 10, and immediately we're able to see all of these products that they're selling. So what we want to see is a low amount of reviews and um, a high price of at least at least $15 up. But the only problem here is this person is selling very, very low um, price-wise, but they're doing high volume. So this would not be something I'd be interested in. They're probably only making $0.50 cents per unit which in this case is five grand a month profit but that is how you spy on the competition so let's do this one more time you can go anywhere in either new releases best sellers uh, and we go into a specific category okay maybe office products and we click on this uh, product okay this is actually Amazon basics brand we don't want to actually look at that we want to look at a private label looking brand meaning uh, something like this someone who is uh, similar to us and selling their own brand of product so we come into their ship from and stored by or and sold by come into products and now we're able to see all of these different products that they're selling all of our brands you can filter by individual brands that they have all of the products what we do is we click on jungle scout um, the Chrome extension and immediately we see everything they're selling look for any products with less than 200 reviews and at least a $30 sale price so we're looking at competition versus sale price and we come over here and we say this looks like a decent product to sell okay what you can do um, and again using critical thinking just me thinking right now everyone's working from home because of um, basically they're quarantined so that's why everyone's working buying working from home desks so you might want to keep that in mind but what we would do is we would come over here and take their main keywords uh, once you find a product uh, so multitasking laptop bed tray those at the beginning are probably the main keywords come under all departments always make sure you're signed out and we're gonna look at how this product in particular is selling in the entire industry here on Amazon and then we come here we say okay a little bit too competitive but very very good demand not something I'd recommend if this average review was about 200 or less and the average sales were 30 three or 300 excuse me per month and the price was at least $15 that would be something worth looking into and again we can come down here and l click on any of these different um, product listings again looking at spying on the competition here in their storefront so now we come here to this listing and he says it says sold by this person and fulfilled by Amazon so it's FBA what we do is we click here super top technology is the list their company name and again we click on products and now we're able to see their two brands all of their products that they're selling and what we do is we immediately click on the Chrome extension and see filter through see if any of these products have a good uh, potential all right so um, these all have this has good amount of low amount of reviews but not just not enough sales even at this price point I don't think you'd be able to make much profit because you also want to look at revenue um, 5,000 plus per month um, some of these just aren't doing very much so you can also filter by monthly revenue here so if you want to look at which one has the fewest reviews you're able to do that and you're looking at all of the fewest reviews and that will help you filter quickly to see low competition products but uh, that does not look so good what I would do is I'd go back go back go back go back into the new releases category come down again just like so we're basically combining two methods if you haven't noticed under new releases look at this canvas swing chair okay that's a new bestseller sold by this 
this particular seller? How many products are they selling? What is it looking like in their store? They have 261. And now we can open up Jungle Scout for the spying on the competitors method here. And then what we, we could do, maybe you want to filter by reviews. This person seems to have no reviews on any of their products. That's very interesting to me. I'm wondering what's going on. So you can see some of their revenue is incredibly high. They're selling chairs. They're selling massage gun. That is very interesting to me. Let's take a look at this, okay? So let's type in those main keywords, massage gun. And let's come into all departments, paste that. Look at this market. All right, let's see. How are we able to compete in the overall market? How's the demand? And how is the reviews? So as Jungle Scout loads, we're able to see all of this crazy data. And we can already see immediately the sales is really, really good. Average price really high. The only problem is the reviews are slightly too high for what I would want. All right, um, so all of these seem to be very similar. Um, very, very similar. If you could add on to kind of a premium aspect, like what was that? One of these caught my eye. This one looks really cool. It caught my eye. It has all these different um, interesting aspects. And this has slightly too many reviews. Obviously, the first three sellers having over a thousand reviews, that's a little bit too competitive. Yes, you can rank with less than a hundred reviews here, like these couple of guys. Um, but this is not, not a category I would want to go under. But what we can do is we can come in here to this guy's listing, okay, uh, click on their storefront. I like to do this a lot and say, okay, you're selling really well for this product. Let's see what else you're selling and see if anything has lo a low amount of reviews um, but a good amount of sales. And then you're able to spy on their storefront and take a look at how this guy is doing. So if we come down here, uh, maybe if we sort by the fewest reviews, this guy has 100 reviews and $190,000 in sales per month. All right, this is the same product, and we already looked at that. We know that that's a little too competitive. How about this? 74 reviews, $5,000 per month revenue. That's pretty interesting. Um, massage Boss. So this is an entire. This brand is all about massaging. You see how they do that? This brand is all very hyper focused, hyper targeted on the massage niche. I like that a lot. Okay and it's done very well for them, they're making millions. So we come here, uh, vibrating massage ball. Let's take a look at this product. Okay, we saw that wasn't too competitive and it was getting a good amount of sales. And let's look at Jungle Scout. So we're able to spy on their storefront and now look at individual products and gauge whether the competition and the demand are good enough for us to wanna jump in. So we're gonna let this load. Right now this is looking pretty good. This is looking, so, just over 200 reviews on average, but look, number one, only 41 reviews. The only problem is their sales are low, but their price is good, okay? So this is a little bit of a low demand niche, but that is basically how you find products to sell using the spying on the competitor storefront method. In product research method number four, we are going to use Helium 10 black box, which is Helium 10's Amazon product research tool, or you could also be using Jungle Scout um, the web app, which is basically the same thing, for showing you very similar data. So clicking here under black box, Amazon product research, we're taken to this page. And here we're able to see all this data. So sort by products, keywords, comp competitors, niche, and product targeting. What I would do, what I would recommend is coming here to categories, selecting the best category. So let me tell you again and show you in depth exactly which ones are good. I would select arts, crafts, and showing, and sewing potentially automotive, baby products, beauty and personal care, not books, not camera and photo, um, not cell phone and, and accessories, that's very competitive. Clothing, shoes, and jewelry, I would not recommend that. Um, collectible coins, probably not. Computers and accessories, potentially, but I would rather go with electronics, okay? Um, not grocery and gourmet food. I would go with health and household, home and kitchen, industrial and scientific can be very good. Sometimes there's some strange products in there. Uh, kitchen and dining, musical instruments, something everyone says not to look at, but I've found actually some very good product ideas there that no one else sees because they always just assume you, they don't want to sell guitars or something, but that's not always the case. There can be accessories in this category. Office products, patio lawn, garden, pet supplies, sports and outdoors, tools and home improvement, uh, and then potentially toys and games. So in those categories that I have selected, 
I am now going to look at the revenue. So what we want to look at is a minimum of about $5,000 revenue. Now, something that you should be doing is instead of doing $5,000, what you're going to miss out on is what if there's a really good product and it's sold and it's making $4,998 per month, okay? So you want to go slightly below, so maybe uh, 4450 And max, we don't want to go too extreme because that tends to be more competitive, but I would say about 15000 So again, go slightly above that, so maybe 15555 So just going above and beyond and below slight slightly lower than what people might want to look at will give you a competitive edge and pricing again i say minimum price of 15 but what if like everyone not selling every single product everywhere they are selling for 14.99 you'll miss out on that if you do exactly 15 so what i'd recommend uh maybe even lowering it to 13.88 and then going um depending on how much you want to how high of a pro, uh, price you want to look at i would say about 70 dollars so it, instead of writing 70 uh, maybe go for 75 uh, 55 okay so you'll find things are slightly out of the range of the normal what everyone is looking at which will give you an advantage over everyone else okay reviews uh, you don't want to see much more than 200 is what i recommend but maybe we can go slightly above that say 222 rating i don't usually look at this shipping tier i want to look at everything I want to see everything possibly uh, to be selling here. All right, and then advanced filters, we're not going to be uh, looking at this. This just ends up being too much data for someone starting out, someone brand new, and we're just going to hit search. Okay, so now black box is going to pull up a list of all of these specific categories, all of this criteria that we selected and uh, within those constraints. And what we do here is we scroll through this list and we're able to see immediately, um, this guy's selling dog chew treats, $46, 200 sales per month, only 153 reviews, this is incredible. All right, the only thing is, uh, pet I know is a very, very competitive niche and pet chew toys could be very competitive, but you still might wanna uh, copy and paste these main keywords or uh, listing, so open a tab, look at it save it and uh, potentially come back here for later and take a closer look at everything and just build your list of product launch ideas all right coming down something very similar dog treats this is interesting here a piano bench 70 dollars sale price 200 sales per month nice revenue and slightly higher than the um reviews that we want to see but that is a potential product we could sell just a little bit big and bulky but again if you're selling something big and bulky some people and look it's under musical instruments so a lot of people won't even see this product all right but uh, the only problem is it's big and heavy the shipping fees are going to be a little bit higher right um but it, it's getting almost 3,000 sales per month that's this guy is making a full-time income just selling this one single product which is crazy and if you don't look at if you don't look at the musical instruments category, then you'd completely miss that. All right. Um, so this is an interesting product as well. Twenty-seven dollars sale price, um, good revenue, low amount of reviews. So look, you'll you'll be able to completely scroll through and look at all these different things. You want to look for products that one aren't necessarily um, just bland commodity products like. Um, I don't know, like paper products or anything kind of similar to that because you want to be able to find something that you can attach a brand to and private label and start your own um, branded product list and line on Amazon. So you want to kind of stay away from certain um, just commodity products, but you're able to scroll through and look at some of these. I would kind of stay, recommend staying away from glass and liquids. This could cause problems if it breaks in shipping. That could be a headache. But on the other hand, it could also be a very good opportunity if you're able to just package this a little better than everyone else and um, automatically you'll have a leg up, okay? So some of these products, um, like big, bulky, might be very difficult. The sales margin might be pretty low, uh, 10 pounds, okay? Um, storage fees will be higher and uh, dog treats are somewhat competitive, so you might want to keep in mind some of these things. Electronics, um, very hard to brand. Right? Electronics come and go. New things get updated, and that might be difficult for you to stay ahead of. Um, this is a big brand. I'm pretty sure always, okay, might not want to be trying to get in competition with them. Um, 
and then you just go down the list. Okay, so another thing for this method, Helium 10 Black Box or, or uh, Jungle Scout, the web app, is see how I started from pro, uh, page one? Um, so you could try going to page eight, right? Looking at stuff no one else is looking at, go above and beyond and deep, and start looking at some of these products here. Um, start sifting through some of these. What is this? Um, clothes laundry, uh, laundry um, hamper. So that that might be a little difficult to brand. Okay, uh, conditioner. Uh, that's very competitive here. Um, so there are some products that you could look at. All right, and some products here under like uh, beauty and personal care. Sometimes they're just very. Um, like, actually, this is very interesting here to me. High temperature disinfectant machine. Let's take a look at this. Actually, I'm very curious about this. This could be a good product. Only problem is it's it's kind of um, tailored to just the state of uh, the pandemic of what everything's going on. So, nail sterilizer. Let's look at this. I like this product idea. Nail sterilizer. You'll you'll get a feel for what products are a good idea to sell as you come uh, continually do this. So. Right now, this is looking actually pretty good. So very low average review, great price. Only problem is it's slightly low on the sales, uh, but it kind of makes up for that in profit in price. So you could be potentially making um, 10 to $15, maybe $20 profit. So you can make one or $2,000 a month profit selling this nail sterilizing um, product. And you see some of these products, you see this, how they're trying to, look how poorly this is being branded. Look how basic these images are. You can come in here. You can um, create something much more, um, much better, a better brand, a better logo. Pay someone online like Fiverr or Upwork to create a premium logo. Maybe change the color of this. Change some things. Look through the negative reviews down here and see what people are saying they don't like. These are kind of bland bullet points. I would recommend adding emojis in here. Okay. Um, so there's so much opportunity to in in um, to, in, to just improve on this um, on this particular product. Okay, so this could be a potentially good product to sell here. All right, so this is um, how you look at products on the black box or the Jungle Scout web app. I'd recommend kind of going through and changing up this data here, maybe uh, eliminating some categories, maybe closing in the restraint like this. This price is a pretty big range. Maybe you want to only sell uh, 15 to kind of $25 products and reset that filter. And maybe you also want to uh, select only a few of these standard sized medium. I don't want to do oversized usually just because the fees are higher. So I would select changing up that and hit search. Um, and now we're able to see again. So some of these products we already looked at, maybe going to the middle of the page here and coming down and seeing product ideas that make sense. So what is this ink cartridge replacement? Okay. Not, we don't want to sell an accessory for, um, a particular brand of products that just tends to have lower demand and, um, might not be the best option to brand something like that. What is this? Again, we have a nail lamp. This is interesting. All right, let's look at this. I like this idea. So led nail lamp for nail polish, but let's just look at again under all departments, seeing how this is doing in the entire market and seeing if we're able to compete here. So led nail lamp hit jungle scout, see how these products are doing. All right. So let's check out the reviews as it's loading a little bit competitive, a little too competitive here. So 3,500 reviews for this product. Um, the price is good and the sales are good. Just the reviews are too high. So um, very difficult to be selling. This is the only guy who's selling less than a couple hundred reviews. Um, and looks like he differentiated this a little bit. Okay. So there's still potential to come in here um, and sell a product like this. Cause look, look here, everybody's selling pretty much the exact clone copy of each other. Um, all this kind of like seashell shaped product. It's white stick a logo on here. These are just not that well branded. Why is no one selling um, a pink color of this? That's a quick way to differentiate. Why is no one selling um, a larger version or like this right here? This is interesting. This is the only guy with a different color. None of them are also showing their packaging. You can show your packaging here uh, on Amazon. 
because that's technically part of the product and that can help you stand out. So those are just some ideas how to differentiate. Some of these guys only have a couple of reviews and are selling pretty well. So um, this is an interesting product idea. It's just You just have to think more outside the box how to compete in this market. A little too competitive um, just with thousands and thousands of reviews. But um, something to kind of think about and kind of a good exercise to do would just be come down through here just just based off the images alone think how you can differentiate and that can really help you stand out all right so let's look at the okay vacuum bag replacements maybe not vitamin c you know supplements very competitive 50 piece nail art toolkit let's take a look at this so it's small it's light good price good sales a little a little high on the reviews but not terrible right don't be afraid of a little competition uh, so let's see here 50 piece nail art toolkit so this is a bundle and bundles are interesting because they're very unique and each one of them offers something different so this could be a good idea we come here some of these are just wildly different than each other but we'll come into the jungle scout chrome extension let that data load and see what we find so this has high demand high competition you know a little a little too high in some of the reviews but actually so if I just exit this out which is slightly different and that's completely different all of a sudden and this is completely different this actually looks somewhat doable competition a little bit high but what if you offer something slightly different what if you offer unique packaging what if you offer uh, a better bundle this could be um, and some of these are just way different than each other so this could have potential bundles are very interesting very unique there's basically you're you're, you're competing on um, how unique and how much value you can add in a single product and uh, if you look at frequently bought together section on Amazon if you see what other customers are asking for then you could potentially compete in here because this is not necessarily accurate like this is command strips this is this is skewing the data here these are shelves this is not so this this the only problem is this keyword is a little bit um difficult to quantify but this could be a good product like spe like specifically this taking a look at this see how it's selling and offering something slightly uh, improved all right but this is basically the tutorial on how to use helium 10 black box all right there's all kinds of different things you can look at i'd recommend sticking to this setup here playing with the price playing with the revenue revenue um, review count slightly expanding or decreasing this and then just sifting through sifting through data and going through each one of these pages looking at each of these products critically using common sense and this could potentially be an amazing way to find products to sell on Amazon product research method number five is the best sellers list so come into Amazon click on best sellers make sure you're logged out make sure you're under all categories like always and then again we're gonna look at some of these categories that I've already previously talked about to see which are the best to sell so these are products that are selling very very well only problem is some of them are competitive because um, they've been selling for a long time and they're the best sellers but it does not mean there's no opportunity there. there's always opportunity in every single niche so we're gonna come down click a category that I've talked about previously sports and outdoors for example alright and we want to stay away from the trending items we want to sell products that are potentially evergreen um, and let's look at uh, fan shop okay let's niche down even further and just for this example let's let's niche down even further than that so maybe uh, pet gear that's interesting um, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at the best sellers under uh, sports and outdoors, under fan shop, under sub niche of pet gear. So already you have a niche in mind. All right, and we're gonna let this data load. Taking a look quickly up top, I see average review 267, average sales a little bit low, average price a little bit low. So this is a little bit competitive. Um, but decent demand okay so some of these are different these are NFL products so you need to actually be licensed in order to sell some of these products so you need to do a little more research on some of these you can't just sell for example Disney products or um, you know specific brand names of um, sports teams okay so this might be a little bit difficult doesn't mean you can't do it uh, and there's always opportunity here but for this example let's um, let's go back a little bit 
And let's uh, let's just look at the overall bestsellers in sports and outdoors. All right. So under the bestsellers, all these guys are doing the best. We're going to be able to see, obviously, massive numbers every month as Amazon loads. And what we can do here is, again, filter. Use filters, okay? Don't be afraid to use filters. Don't just look at all this scary data and not know what to do. So this one right here, this is a, a bandana face mask. Well, because of the pandemic right now, everyone is buying this kind of these items. All right, so um, that might be a little difficult. Let's look at this. I like this, waist trainer, women. So let's come in here and click on this product. Um, 300 reviews. They have a lot of variations. What we can do is, um, under the best sellers category, now let's look at their storefront. So click on sold by this person, and let's see what other products are they selling that could potentially, oh, they're only selling one product. Interesting. Well, let's take a look at it. Waist trainer women. Let's see under Amazon who is buying this product. So as you can see, we started with best sellers, but now we're all on this tangent of looking at waist trainers for women. Okay, so that's a very specific niche. And it looks like all these are just black colored, uh, no real branding, just quickly looking at it. Only problem is very competitive, wildly competitive, almost 10,000 reviews for this basic product and look this guy's offering such a low price probably not making any money not a very good category to sell under just because those reviews there all right let's scroll down a little bit more so all these best sellers here just way 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 too many reviews so uh, let's go into a sub category and um, and let's look at under outdoor recreation so the best sellers in outdoor recreation, how are they doing? Uh, I like this one right here, only 16 reviews ago. Again, it's a, it's the bandana there. That's kind of trending right now, which uh, might not be a good product to sell in the next few months because all of a sudden everyone's going to have them selling on Amazon, but uh, nobody's going to want them, and then you're going to be stuck with inventory. So maybe not the best. Hydroflask, that's a very big brand. All right, let's look at accessories under the best sellers. Okay, so the reason I put Amazon bestsellers last is because it's a little bit more difficult to find good products to sell just because, well, these are the most competitive products, but you can also combine different methods. So maybe, um, let's look at this wrist sleep support brace. All right, obviously very, very, very high on the reviews, but let's look at their storefront. All right, let's combine these methods and let's keep on searching. This guy right here, 48 reviews. I wonder how well he's selling with this posture corrector, okay? Let's see, 48 reviews, 600 sales per month. That's amazing. So let's come in here. Let's see, um, posture corrector back brace. And the brand is Comfy Brace. So they do, uh, you know, a Okay, he's saying bestseller here. That's a little that's a little slimy. But he's doing pretty good on the branding, right? A lot of lifestyle images. A lot of lifestyle images. Uh, but the packaging kind of looks cheesy to me. And his bullet points are wildly long and they have no emojis. And um, so let's look at some of those ways. So we can see there's definitely room for improvement. Let's look at the overall market of posture corrector braces. So obviously you want to use the main keywords here and look at the reviews. Okay, going down, going down, sales going up. That's good. So this, wow, this guy is doing 53 reviews and at the very top. Very interesting. All right, so this guy selling a, a crazy amount of reviews. That's very, very high. But some of these guys, like this guy, 43 reviews. $17 sale price, 600 sales per month. So this, if this guy can do it, you can do it. That's kind of the way I look at it. And if you can see at least two people selling, like this guy, this guy can do it with 50 reviews, selling 600 a month, probably about $5 profit each. These guys are making about five grand or three grand a month each. This is a potential market. That you, this guy's also doing it. 50, only 50 reviews, $20. That's the one we looked at originally. 100 reviews. $16. This is potentially a good product. Now what you would do next is you come here, see all these sellers that are selling on Amazon. What are they doing? How can you differentiate? Okay. Looks like all these all these back braces are black. 
okay and this, this hardly any of them you know this somewhat hard to brand number one they're not showing their packaging they're not showing how it's packaged that is that is a way you could get a, a, a leg up from the competition number two you could offer a different color uh, number three you could offer a slightly um, different material so there's definitely room to brand and package better like these guys are saying in the usa made in the usa okay all these are people are using models um but it's all the same color like everything is kind of you see how everything's everything has a model in it well, what if you just use a, a crazy colorful package right and do a really good job on the images uh, maybe you can use lifestyle images like these in the uh like this guy see he's the only one using packaging here and that's why he's able to compete no one else is doing this this is a good opportunity here all right so that is basically the amazon best sellers method uh, i'll save that one for last just because it tends to be um, more competitive but does not mean there's no opportunity so if you've made it this far into the training, I'm proud of you. Let's now recap here. So for software, we need Jungle Scout or Helium 10, and you must be in Google Chrome, okay? You can either have the free trial version or you can go in the link in the, in the description below and get a discounted amount so that you can start product research right now. Number two is we want to look at specific product criteria. So at least 300 sales per month or higher, $5,000 revenue per month or more, and less than 200 reviews on average for the products that we're looking at. And there's you want to make sure there's an opportunity to improve the product. So with better branding, better packaging, better quality products, find some way to differentiate and stand out. That will give you a massive leg up. And then also obviously using common sense. Okay, so just thinking about um, like for example a Christmas tree. Can you sell that all year round? No, probably not. It's going to be seasonal. Um, and right now with just the state of the world, some things are going to be spiked, some things are going to be lower, and you have to just recognize that. And that just takes some time. Okay. Another thing is the categories. You can pause this here, but these are the top categories that I recommend looking at. My biggest tip for you is to look at musical instruments. That is something that no one really likes to look at. And there's amazing opportunity in each single one of these here. All right. Don't get overwhelmed. I just want to stress, be focused and persistent. This takes time, but the longer you stay at it, the better chance you'll have of succeeding. So what's the next step? All right. So start with researching with software. The link is in the description below. Get those softwares and start researching now better than now than later and start taking action. Start using the, the tools and the training that I showed you here and start looking for products to start selling on Amazon. I'm telling you it will pay off so much in the long run. Products that I found over two years ago are still selling, still making me money every single day. All right. So comment, like, subscribe. Also look at my other training videos. Um, either the playlists of my breakdown of me selling on Amazon for the first 13 months or any of the other pro um, videos in my library. So thanks so much for watching. Now go take action.